Jansen Harris here with the Just Good Network. I am doing a film study on Kendall Sheffield. He was a fourth round draft pick out of Ohio State in the 2019 draft. Coming into 2020 will be his second season, highly anticipated second season. Started a bunch of games for the Falcons last year, actually 11 games, so he had to step up. He had 43 tackles, 13 of them assisted tackles, a couple pass deflects, and a forced fumble. Now, a little bit about his background is he was highly recruited. He was the third cornerback in the nation in 2015, five-star guy, two-sport athlete. He was pretty much a beast. He first initially redshirted at Alabama, then transferred to JUCO, to Ben College, where he was a kick returner. So he did a little bit more than just play cornerback. And then he eventually committed to Ohio State, where he started getting more attention. He started dominating, and the rest is history from there. 24-year-old, still has a lot of growing to do. 5'10", 212 pounds. That's a pretty good build on him. Kind of built like a running back. Got a lot of strength to him. And he's one of the fastest players in the league. Probably the fastest player on the Falcons heading into 2020. Now we're going to break down his highlights. Unfortunately, there's not much Falcons highlights out there for me to break down. So I'm going to break down his college highlights, which is basically two years ago. But I'll kind of angle it into what we're probably going to get next season and some of what we got last season with Kendall Sheffield. But I will say this, I want to add this to it. Him playing on the outside might be better than him playing in the slot. He struggled a lot in the slot, which a lot of corners struggle in the slot. It's pretty tough to stop these receivers in the slot because there's a bunch of different routes they could do also with the passing game and with some of the rules it makes it difficult so experience is one thing that I think Sheffield the the young 24 year old learned last season in his first season and give him credit start 11 games a fourth round draft pick it's not like he was supposed to come in day one and be that starting guy so here's some of the highlights that I'm going to break down at Kendall Sheffield like comment subscribe below and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well, Just Good Network. So let's let's get right into it. Right here, pass thrown, boom, automatic. He catches it, hit, no gain. Screenplay, sure tackle right there. Could have been a big game. He stops it. That's one thing about Sheffield, and he's he brought to the Falcons. He's a sure tackler. Dan Quinn didn't really point that out when he was breaking down his film study, but look at that slant takes him down. Boom, right there. Another takedown, number two. And this is what you got to like about him. Gets the interception. We didn't really see that season one with the Falcons, but he can make plays. He just needs to get comfortable. His ability right there to be aggressive. Finding the ball breaks that up. Good play. Breaks that play up as well, too. Look at this. This is Saquon Barkley. Gets him into the backfield. One more time. He doesn't have a problem tackling. That's what I like about him. Boom. Notice that it was tipped. Helping his teammate out with the tip. And then, bang, intercepted by number four. That's teamwork right there. On the outside, that's why I think he should be on the outside. Breaks it up. Here up top. Look at him. Look at that hand. Look at his use of the hand right there. Pretty athletic. Big game right here against Sam Darnold. Guy catches it. Look at him. Catches him. Forces the fumble. Look at that ret the return back. Slow motion. Left hand. Gave up the pass, but look at that. Creating turnovers. That forced fumble you see with the Falcons, that's what he could do. And then, bang, the pass break up. This is against Sam Darnold and a pretty good Ohio, a pretty good, excuse me, USC offense. You guys let me know what you guys expect out of Kendall Sheffield, his second season. Remember, only 24 years old. Do you think he should play more on the slot? Do you think more he should play on the end? Do you think he should even be a starter? You guys let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe below. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well.